think we've got a big problem right now with social media companies and their failure to moderate content and the explosion of hate on Twitter, um, the banning of journalists on Twitter. Um, I don't think these companies should enjoy an immunity from liability when they behave this way. Uh, you know, we can't tell them what to say or not say, but we, we gave them immunity. We said, if you'll be responsible moderators of content, uh, we will give you immunity. They haven't been. So why should they continue to enjoy that immunity from, from responsibility and liability? I don't know, guys, but it might be just me. I think Shifty Shift is a little scared. Now, I want to welcome you to Patriot News Network 2. And today, I'm going to be talking about this article that's in the Gateway Pundit. Let me go ahead and bring it up for you guys. And the headline is, Do you approve hiding state censorship in direct violation of the Constitution? Elon Musk calls out Adam Schiff after documents revealed Schiff's office was emailing Twitter. Elon Musk on Tuesday calls out Democrat rep Adam Schiff for conspiring with Twitter to censor American citizens. As outgoing chair of the House Intelligence, did you approve hiding state censorship in direct violation of the Constitution of the United States, Adam Schiff? Elon Musk tweeted on Tuesday. And there's a tweet there. And then Twitter files released on Sunday revealed Adam Schiff's office was communicating with Twitter. Now, guys, that video I showed you at the beginning where he was on State of the Union, that was made on Sunday as well. And I have a feeling that he knew this information was going to come out in the Twitter files. And this was a preemptive strike, warning them to not bring it out and uh, mention his name in the Twitter files. But they did anyway. Good on them. <laughs> all right, guys, with all that said, I think Adam Schiff is scared. And the thing is, when I watched that video, it's very insincere. He's talking about Elon Musk taking uh, reporters down off of uh, Twitter. He's concerned now because these these uh, reporters are part of his ideology. But when it was people like uh, Gateway Pundit, when they were uh, uh, shadow banning people like uh, uh, Jack Lasobic, Charlie Kirk, so on and so forth, and they also took down Steve Bannon and others, did he go out there and speak for them? No, he wanted them to do that because they were on the other side of the political spectrum. That's what matters to him is that kind of power to control the narrative on Twitter. And now they have lost all control of it. And that's the reason they're actually talking about investigating it, investigating Elon Musk and what he's doing. But guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please share this video. It helps with the algorithm because they are uh, shadow banning us on, on YouTube right now. And also, comment, like, subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace.